Morning. Good morning. Warm. Sunday. What, what, what time will you give me that Sunday, Susie? It's oh. not... So, Mario, we're going to learn Sunday night. Okay. What we're teaching Navi? Yeah. So, um, let's do Dafyomi at about five o'clock on Sunday. Okay. You sure? You're coming back on Sunday? Well, either five or six o'clock. Want to make it six o'clock better? Do it six o'clock. For you, yeah. Do it six o'clock. Well, we're coming back 11 o'clock in the morning, so it shouldn't make, make it 6 p.m. Okay, and the Novi at 8. And the Novi at 8 at 8.30 uh, because of Mincha Mayu. Oh, yeah, 8.30. Okay. All right. Okay. Twenty three. Okay, we are on Chav Gimel. Rav Yosef Avlei Hanu Tali Tavu Osu Umni Bias Biasu Tusai. He owned date trees, and these blood letters came to operate under his date trees. It means to draw blood underneath the date trees. The blood attracted ravens. The ravens would eat the blood, and they would fly up to the date dates in the date tree. And they would ruin the dates. Nobody wanted to buy the dates. So this is a damage to the date trees of Rav Yosef. But it's indirect. It's not like anyone is damaged. Remember, we, we dealt with the issue of Grama ben Nizokin. We said Grama ben Nizokin is usur. Even though you may not directly cause the damage, it's a Grama. Om Rav Yosef Afriku li kurka Rav Yosef said, get rid of the ravens, which means but you're allowed to remove these professional blood letters that they wouldn't cause any more damage. Armale Abai, what do you mean? Vagrama. It's only a grama who dare not be a dying causing damage. Armale Hachi Amar of Tuva Bar Mas, the Zoysumer is grama, and he's all usur. So we see that Rav Yosef held that even if you are causing through a secondary effect of Nezek, you, it's still prohibited. But what if they had a chazaka? They were there already. And there's a chazaka of, of use there. You can't establish if even though you have a zaka, chazaka, but if it leads to damage, you can't claim chazaka to keep you there. Break the Gemara of Lavit for Allah. Rav Mary Omar, Big Kutra of Azina Rabesakisi. That this kind of damage would be, let's say you caused a lot of smoke or you created a bathroom there. Those are bad nezeks that overrides Chazaka. But if it's less than that, Chazaka can override it. Or Malay, Hani Levidi, the Anina Daiti, Kikutra, Ubesakisi Domu. I am very finicky. I'm an Istanis. I'm very finicky. And any kind of bother is for me like ash, smoke, or Besakisi. Mishnah. Marchikin is a Shoivach when I hear Kamishim Amma. You have a, a birdhouse where you're growing doves. You have to keep them 50 amas away from the city. Otherwise, they're going to eat things in your front yard, seeds of your gardens. So you can't have that. 
Elam ken yeshlo chamishim am lecholva. You can't set up a birdhouse in your backyard unless you have at least 50 amas in both directions of, in a backyard. Rabbi Oimer, different amount. Base our bar kun enough to plant our bakur of tvur, which is moli shegarayona, which is enough for a, a, a dove to fly in one shot without stopping. Now, that's if you, let's say in Lokhu, let's say you bought the birdhouse with the land. So the Afilu base rova, then you don't need a really big, even a small amount of land that you could plant a quarter of a cup of seed. You don't have to get rid of them. So the Gemara questions the Chamishim on the limit. The Sulo says in portion, in portion, Nishbin Leon, you don't spread out traps for doves. Elam can hire Rochak when I issue Shloshim Riz. Shloshim Riz is four mil, which is 8,000 am, not 50 amas. On Rabbi Meshach Chaiti too, flying. They can fly 8,000 hours, but hopping, not hopping, that is filling up their belly of a kasaba chamishim am somalia. They'll get filled up after 50 amas and they won't eat anymore. Right? The more meshit, shloshim ris, vasulo, what they only fly 8,000 amas, vatanya. Uve yishuv, afilu mea milo yifos. Even a hundred mil, not four mil, a hundred mil. Johnny, we're on Chav Gimel, Chavad Aleph, near the bottom, halfway down. So, Rova Omar, Biyushu Shovchin. That means there were many dove uh, birdhouses on the way that they could stop. That's why it's a further distance. I have typically Mishum Shovchin Gufai. Remember, we said even without connection to a city, there has, you have to keep every birdhouse 50 amas away from the other. So, Iboy Seima, the day, he owns all of them. We're just concerned that maybe the doves of the city are going to use his birdhouse. Iboy Seima, can you turn that on? Goy. He's not the uh, com command. It's, it belongs to a goy, these dove birdhouses. And you're not, there's no prohibit, there's no, you're not worried about damaging him. The boy same of Hefker, or belongs to Hefker. Or you don't have base, our boss court. If you, you, you need a certain amount of size of your backyard, but if you already bought it with the thing there, even if it's a smaller place, it's okay. Amrav Papa, Vitem Rav Zvid, Zosumeris, Toyanin Lokech Vaton Lirosh. An heir or somebody who buys something, Bezdin will make a claim for them, even though they don't understand the claim. We claim for them. So, why do you have to make that statement? Yorish Tanina. Somebody inherited something. He doesn't have to have the, to prove how did he get it. So the Chiddush is yes. Yorish is not a Chiddush, but Lokech it's Shechalei. We have this concept even by a buyer. He bought a Chatzer and there were holes and Sticking out in the Rosh Hashanah Rabbi. We don't say to remove it. Must have been there, and, and the Rosh Hashanah Rabbi gave permission. So even if it was mentioned before, so we have to mention it again. Maybe only there, Gabi, a Zizr Gzustra that goes in the Rosh Hashanah Rabbi, because Amor Kodes Tokshalohu, when it was built originally, was on his property. Later on, Rosh Hashanah Rabbi extended. extended. And so, therefore, that's why he has a right to. 
Maybe you'll say that the Shazarabim were mechel to him. Maybe Shazarabim gave him. When he just damaged one person, maybe we don't say that. Well, with a single person, like his neighbor, he he smeared him with a hundred bucks to allow him to do it. Maybe he was moichel. But when you do damage to the Shutzer Rabbim, who man pays man traffic? Who who did you bribe? Who is moichel you? Maybe there aim a low. Maybe we wouldn't take the lekach side. And make a claim on his behalf. So Tzricha, we needed a Kiddush in both cases. The Mishnah says, "Arayu bechas koso." If you already bought a chutzur with a with a birdhouse there, even if it's a small area, it's a chazaka that uh, he can keep it. But if it's causing damage, we just said there's no chazaka l'nizokin. So Rav Meri Omar, that which Rav Nachman said, that ain't chazok l'nizokin, that's bekutra, that's with smoke. Rav Zidar, basically, it's for the bathroom. But other things does, uh, there are more minor damages where the, the concept of chazok is, is used. Mishnah. Ni pol anim sabatoch hamish imam. A small young dove fell out of a birdhouse and you find it within 50 amas of the birdhouse. We assume it belongs to the owner of the birdhouse. If it's beyond 50 amas, whoever finds it gets to keep it. If it's between two birdhouses, the we measure and whoever it's closest to, it belongs to. Mechzal, mechzal, if it's exactly the same, we divide the value between the two owners. It becomes a very interesting sugya. Amrav Chanina. We have a suffix that it, it appears in front of us. For example, we find something, we're not sure, does it belong to that guy, does it belong to that guy? And one one of the people, there would be a concept of Roy. And the other, it's Karov. It's He's closer, but less numbers. So, Holchin Achra Rov. Rov trumps Karov. The concept of Rov is more powerful than being close. Avagav the Ruba the Raisa Kuva the Raisa. Both are the Raisa. By it says Achrei Rabim Lahatos. We follow the majority, and by the Egla Rufa we say Vayaha Ira Kuva. You measure to the closest. But if there's more people in one city, so the Rov would trump Karov. Afiluachi Ruba Odiv. Right? Rov Trumps. Masif Rav Zera. Vaya Yerakravad Lachalal. You have a dead body. You measure to the closest city. Avabi de Ikach Risid Nafshemine, even though you have a city that's got more people in it. So the Torah itself seems to violate that principle. We should go after Rov. So, Bidaleka, there is no city bigger than it. They're equal. So then you do Korah. If there was in a Hanami, a city with more population, you would follow Rome. So fine. Now, why, forget about the two cities. You have Rome of the whole world, which is in another place. So we should always potter the closest city. So the Gemara says, "Ena Chanani." We're talking about Bishir Shevis Ben Aharim. These villages are in mountains. Well, you can't they're isolated places. And we're not going to say 
that it's likely that a murderer came from a further place. Tanat. Nipla nimtzav to chamishimam. Kasha from our Mishnah, where a bird falls out of a bird, bird, bird house and is found within 50 yamas. Arehu shal bala shoyva. We measure whoever is as closest to that who the bird belongs to, which implies afal gabdi kachrin is an ofish name. Even though there's a birdhouse with a lot more birds in it. So if we say rove versus car of rove always go, why do we why do we say in our mission that the bird is owned by the closest birdhouse? Seems that we don't go after rove. So Bidileka, we don't have another birdhouse in the area with shed more. Yachim is safer. If the birdhouse, if you find the bird beyond 50 yamas, then whoever wants to, whoever found it, keep it. Eat the lack on if you tell me there were no other bird birdhouses. So why, why would you, where else is it going to come from? It means this is the only birdhouse for 100 miles and you found it beyond 50 yamas. Why would you say that whoever finds it can keep it. So the Gemara has a good answer. It cannot fly yet. It can only hop. <laughs> when a bird hops, it cannot hop more than 50 yams. It doesn't make a difference. It, it, if it's within 50, it came from the original birdhouse. But if it's further, it must have come from somewhere else. Maybe it fell from someone passing by. Boy Rav Yemi. Ragloi achas besoch hamishimam. Ragloi achas chutz bechamishimam. One foot of the bird was within 50 yamas. One was beyond ma'u. Ve aldo afku es Rav Yemi memidur. They threw Rav Yemi out of the base matters for that question. Because the question was done just to irritate the chachani. Toshma. You found a bird within two birdhouses. Whoever it's closest to belongs. Even though one has more birds, so we see we don't follow Rome. They're exactly the same, but if one birdhouse had more, you'd go after Rome. Well, why would we ever measure to the closest? Anything beyond the one that's close is the role of the world. We're talking about it was found in a, a road and a vineyard. And that's where these bird houses were found. And we'll see why, why if it came from the outside world, it, 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 it will not affect us. Okay. okay. Chavis, what time hey, is Shabbos over there? It must be late. No? Yeah, we uh, we are we are going to Davin at the Alt Noy Shul.